Hey there everyone, welcome to fourth grade. My name is Mrs. Smutniak and I will be your fourth grade teacher for this totally unique, absolutely unpredictable school year. First we were gonna be in school, then we're gonna be at home. Now we're just gonna start at home, we're gonna start remotely and we're gonna see how that goes. And we know that that's all for your health and your safety as well as mine and the rest of the people here at school. So we're gonna get this year started in an absolutely unique way. But you know what? We're gonna get this year started and we're gonna learn and grow together. We might make mistakes in the first few weeks. This is totally new to me. I'm standing in the classroom talking to a camera and all around me are empty desks. Empty desks and chairs that I would love to see your beautiful faces in. I'd love to see you smiling. I'd love to hear your laughter or you're talking with each other or raising your hand to jump in and answer a question. But that time might come as the year goes along but it's not here now. So we'll have to do this in a unique way and that'll be online via Google Meet and Google Classroom and all kinds of other unique experiences. I'm trying a lot of things out for the first time this year and you're gonna too. And again, we may make some mistakes, but that's okay. So let's get this started. The very first thing you're gonna get from me this year is a bin and you're gonna be picking that up. And when you pick it up, it's gonna have all the materials in it that you need to get this year started. So right now what I'm gonna show you is what's gonna be inside that bin so that you know what to expect and you have an idea of what you're gonna be getting. So first in that bin is a folder that says parent information folder on it. This is a folder full of reference resources that you might need for different programs. Some stuff in here for kids, the rules for online classroom meetings and the, way, the ways you should and shouldn't do things when you're online and with our class, and also how the different programs work and things you might need for that. So this will be the first thing in there. And then, I'm gonna set this down. And then you're gonna get an assignment notebook. Now, traditionally you would fill out this assignment notebook here at school every single day. You'd write down your homework, your assignments, the date, any important notes and information. Your parents could communicate back and forth with me through it, but not this year. This year you're not here but we ordered them in the spring, so we're sending them home to you anyways. And this is a great tool actually to help you and your family stay organized. So when you open it, you see that this is the month of January that I opened to, a little bit farther down the year, huh? So let's go a little farther back. This is July, we just had that. I'm not doing a very good job of opening this, am I? August and September. Here's August 31st. As a family, if you have things that are happening that day, you can use this as your weekly calendar, your daily calendar, fill in all the meetings. If you have more than one child at home or you have a brother or sister that have to do things online too, you can just write down everybody's information for the day in here. It might help you guys stay organized because I know that this is gonna be really new for all of us. Now, the next thing is your reading book. It's new this year. Notice that it bends. We have a whole new reading series this year. It's called HMH Into Reading. And this is a book that you read and write in and it has a website. So we're gonna do all kinds of stuff online. We're gonna use the book, we're gonna use the website. We're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff with this. And it has a lot of fun stories in it. So this is book one, there's two of them. So later in the year, you'll get the next one. But in your bin, you'll have book one. You're also gonna have your math reference book. Now the reference book is not where you do work. The reference book is where you find how to do different things and what different things mean. And there's some practice problems in there. There's a glossary. So if you're stuck on say long division, you can look in the table of contents or the index in the back, find long division, and it'll show you a lot of different examples and tell you step-by-step step how to do it. So if we're doing something in class and you wanna just kinda help yourself, you can go into here to do that. Now, along with that, we have our math journal. Your math journal one will be coming home in your bin. It has all the beginning materials and you see in the back, fractions. These are all things you can cut out to help you with fractions as we go along through the year. So we'll be doing lots and lots and lots of work in our journal one. You're also gonna get a skills link workbook. The skills link workbook has one page for each lesson or important activity. So this is just an extra practice book. Sometimes I might assign something in it, but it's not our main source, but we are giving it to you in case you wanna do some extra practice. You're also gonna get a handwriting book. A handwriting book in fourth grade, it's cursive. Now, this will be just kind of like a fun in between things. We'll do a lot of cursive on Friday, but 
Fridays throughout the year, but this isn't gonna be a primary focus of our learning. But if we ever come back to school, we'll do a lot of practice with it together. You're also gonna have a whiteboard in your bin and a marker, and you'll be able to show me your formation of different cursive letters on that whiteboard. Interactive science. This is our science program for fourth grade. It is a workbook, just like you had last year, so you read and write inside it. Also has super cool stuff online, and we'll also be using Mystery Science, the website this year. So science will be a lot of fun and we'll alternate between a unit of science and a unit of social studies. So we'll go back and forth between the two. And your last book that's in there is your My World Social Studies book. This book has everything you need for social studies. We're gonna do tons of work this year with regions of the United States and geography, lots of cool stuff. This also has a website, the same website as your science book. So we'll also be doing a lot of neat stuff online with this as the year goes along. Remember, we'll do one of science and one of social studies. So you wanna keep these in your bin so that you don't lose them. The last two pieces that are in your bin are mater resource materials for math. You have a Ziploc bag of all kinds of stuff that you need for math. There's a table of uh, contents on the front. You have in this bag a deck of cards, a, di a set of dice, a tape measure, a protractor for when we start with angles, a template, and fraction circle pieces. Those same pieces are able to be cut out in the back of your math journal. So if you happen to lose one, you can cut them out and add them back into your bag. So this bag will be inside there. The content sticker is on the front so that you know what should be in this bag. So if you use a material, uh, you wanna make sure that you stick it right back in the bag so you don't end up losing it. And if you're not sure where it's at, you can look right here at the table of contents or the contents on the bag and see if it's in there. And the last piece that you have in your bin, outside of your Chromebook, which I'm not showing you because I don't even have that yet, but your Chromebook and your plug will be in there too. But these are the things that I've added. And this is says math resources at the top, but there's a few other things on it as well. It's a docket. Some dockets are this way and they open up. Some are this way and some have the strings, but they all have the same things inside them. So inside everybody's docket is a zipper pouch with headphones. I got everybody a set of earbuds and a pouch to keep them in. So if you don't have your own headphones or they happen to break or not work very well, you can use the earbuds that are inside here. And then this is a pouch you can always keep them in so that you don't end up losing them. We also, I also got you guys a pencil sharpener because you don't have mine here and you might not have one at home. So you have a new pencil sharpener to keep those pencils sharp when you're practicing. Your dry erase marker is in this bag or this pouch. I got everybody an eraser, so when it runs out on the end of your pencil, you still got one to use. And then everybody has a name tag. You can see whose this is, just like you would have on your desk. And it has all the different math tools that you would need to be able to figure out how to help yourself while you're working on math problems. And then there's three other things in here. You have a multiplication chart, colorful, easy to help, easy to help you with multiplication multiplication strategies card and the last thing is math tools for grades three through five you might have to review some things from last year because you weren't even in school at the end of the year you were working and you were practicing but you weren't here with us so it's possible that you maybe didn't pick up on some things you should have or would have liked to so inside here you can find resources to help the very first page is a table of contents tells you everything that's inside it and what page number to go to to find it. So for example, I see on page six, multiples. So let's go to page six. And when you get to page six, and they're not all colorful, but this one happens to be. When you go to page six, you see multiples. So if you're trying, if we're working on multiples, factors and multiples, and you're kind of confused, you can use this to help you. Also, you can use that math student reference book. So this is in there with all kinds of different resources to help you with fractions and lines and angles and everything we're gonna be doing this year and some of the stuff you might have done last year and it even applies into fifth grade. So be careful not to tear it off its ring, but if it happens to come off, just stick it in the, in the docket and you won't lose your pages. All right, so that is all that's in your bin. Your bin is designed to be your workstation. It's like the inside of your desk for home. It has everything you need to be successful with school. I'll be in the computer. You'll have all your materials there and we'll work together on all the fun fourth grade activities that we should be working on during our school year. 
Now, when you take something out of your bin, make sure you put it back in your bin. You wouldn't just throw it under your bed or on the floor underneath a toy shelf here at school. You will put it back in your desk. So put it back in your bin and that will help you not lose, lose any of the materials you need. That bin is your workstation. So say you go to grandma's for a day, take the whole bin, you have everything you would need for school. Say you're working in the kitchen, you can put it on the kitchen table, you have everything you need. Maybe the next day you're working in the family room. You always have everything you need if you keep it all in your bin, including your computer and your plug, the Chromebook and the plug. There's space for it all, and so keep it in there. I'm so excited to get started for this year. I'm gonna make a separate video that goes through what's inside the parent information folder and the first steps to getting started with fourth grade. But until then, have a great day.